Hark and well met, members of the YouTube Rune Platoon. My name is Rune Meister Crisp, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about archaeology and archaeogaming. Just to kind of put a little context around what we're going to be working on with this whole channel. So first of all, a quick point of clarification, because this comes up a lot in chat and just everyday conversation. So archaeology is different uh, than paleontology and geology and anthropology. It's a subtle difference, but it's there. So I just want to clarify that for everybody's sake. So to tackle the first one, archaeology and anthropology are super similar, to the point where like archaeology is basically like a subsect of anthropology. They both have to do with studying humans, people, and our history, evolution, changes, culture, yada yada yada. Anthropology is just a lot more blanket and could apply to modern cultures as well, whereas archaeology is just strictly things that have already happened and are in the past. We deal more with like the material culture, like the things that people leave behind, as opposed to anthropology. Uh, uh, which a lot of times will actually do more hands-on work with the people themselves. Paleontology, meanwhile, that's dinosaurs. So if you're coming in and you're saying, oh, archaeology, you're doing stuff with dinosaurs. If, if, there's, if there's no dinosaurs in the game that I'm playing, no, I don't deal with dinosaurs. Those are paleontologists. Paleontologists do fossils uh, uh, and pretty much anything that's been extinct for a while. So we can just clear that up just right off the bat because, yeah. Now, archaeogaming specifically is a little bit different. It's kind of new, uh, right? It hasn't been around that long, obviously, because gaming hasn't really been along relatively that long comparative to everything else that's happened over the course of human history. But uh, archaeogaming specifically is still kind of working its way up, I think. It was originally created by a man named Andrew Reinhardt, and he has actually a YouTube video that does a really good job. I'm going to put it right up here. So you should be able to click to his channel and take a look, see what it's all about. But in summary, archaeogaming is basically taking archaeology and intersecting it with video games. So you can do that in a number of ways. You can do it by playing games that have to do with archaeology. I started off playing, you know, Tomb Raider and stuff like that, which is literally about archaeologists. You could play games that allow you to do archaeology, which like World of Warcraft has an archaeology mechanic and uh, uh, pretty much like any game that has levels of digging and excavation or, or revealing of ancient ruins and structures or the cataloging of left behind lexicons. Even Destiny 2 has got like Rasputin with all of his records and everything that he leaves behind. That's technically archaeogaming. Third, you've also got elements of using video games to help you do real life archaeology. Uh, so there are examples of people doing reconstructions within games, right? Using programs such as Minecraft, Second Life, uh, uh, things that'll help them recreate real life archaeological excavations and sites within video games to help you get a better idea of what they got going on. And finally, you have the literal excavation of video games, such as that there was this really famous site that had a, a, like an old Atari ET cartridge pop up. And like, it was a whole Atari graveyard, they called it. It was a super cool place. So that's kind of what we got going on. We do archeology span as opposed to anthropology or paleontology. We do archeogaming specifically, meaning it's pretty much a gaming channel that just has a whole lot to do with archeology. span So you're probably wondering like what the actual benefit is of doing something like this. Like what am I actually like, Am I just looking for an excuse to play video games? Or like, what, what am I What am I doing? The, the answer is a bit twofold. So first of all, yes, 100%, I really like having an excuse to play video games. It's nice. Uh, uh, I, it's, it's, I enjoy the hobby. I've enjoyed it my entire life. And you should always be able to do the things that you wanna do. Am I right? But secondly, I think there's a really key element here. We can take something that is universally enjoyed in the modern era, right? In terms of video games and, and streaming content to Twitch and watching silly videos on YouTube, I'm gonna dupe you into learning. You're not gonna realize it's happening, but boom, there it is, in your face. Facts, hard history. You're gonna, I, I think you're gonna enjoy it. In essence, it's a different and hopefully more entertaining way of going about learning, right? 100%. 
I am not a master of ever. I mean, I'm, I'm technically I'm a master. I have a master's degree. I am legally a master, but I, I know that there are plenty of things out there that I don't personally know. And I would love to learn some more of these new things. And I think that by taking those things, implementing them into archaeology, or at least using archaeology and archaeo gaming as a way to learn these new things together with you guys, I think that's pretty dope. At the very least, it's a little bit poggers. So I think that when we go about looking at things from an archaeological context, it both not only teaches you a little bit about human history and where we all came from as a people, but maybe a little bit more about the game that you're trying to play. Where the influence for it came from, what inspired the devs to do what they did, you know. It's cool. It's cool stuff. At least I think so. Yeah, so I'm hoping that I can put up a little bit more content that's kind of based around the archaeology side of things. You know, not just including the gaming clips and highlights and stuff that I've been doing, but also maybe trying to explore a little bit more of, like, the archaeology side of things. Anyway, I guess you could just kind of consider this a channel trailer part two. So, hey, if you like what we've got going on, go ahead and subscribe below. So far, only... 15% of my views are coming from subscribers. That means 85% of you people watching my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel yet, which is bonkers. So if you think this idea is cool, this concept is cool, go ahead and hit subscribe. There's a little button. Here, I'll make another thing pop up. Right there. Just hit subscribe. Join the channel. And hey, follow me on Twitch while you're at it. I go live every Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Yeah, like I said, Quick little video. I'll see you guys next time.